Tom Clements with King Air Academy. On the pre-flight inspections, you'll notice there is this door here on the chin-type cowling of the 90 and 100 series. And uh, if we look in there, there's not much to see, really. Well, this door <laughs> was left over from the 90, A90, B90 models that had a supercharger. And this is where you check the oil level in the mechanical drive for that supercharger on the left engine only. Once the supercharger went away, start with C90s, 100s, there really was no need to keep this door here for the inspection. But for commonality manufacturing, they kept it. So it is a little easier access for any maintenance maybe in here. And also it does let us just look at a couple things, point out to you. This is the exciter box for the spark ignition. This is the bleed air line where it branches into the big and little P3 for the environmental versus the pneumatics. And uh, the later airplanes will have another branch off here for the EPA shutdown purge, the fuel purge at, at shutdown. But no particular one item really left over to inspect in there, even though that's what the door was originally for. And also this scoop, just general cooling of the accessory case of the engine, letting the air escape the cowling back there. So no any one particular thing that's there for other than general venting of the back of the cowling. One of the bad things, maybe the only bad thing about PT6s is, is the fact that the exhaust comes out the front and so therefore there's a lot of cowling and wing to get exposed to the soot from that exhaust. Well, Beach did a clever thing here. See, they put these little louvers in the side here of the cowling each side to provide a boundary layer of nice clean air to keep the soot off. And you know, those things work really, really well for about that far.